Hey everyone, this is Andrew Tyler. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to partition your Mac so that you can install two different operating systems which are different so that you can do some testing and how to get these all working on a single computer. So we have our APFS drive on our Apple Silicon Mac and basically what we're going to do is to create a new partition and then install another macOS operating system on it so that we can do some testing. We can install the beta versions or the public versions of say macOS Ventura or even macOS Monterey and we can test out different things on the computer. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you haven't subscribed already then please consider subscribing and you'll be able to keep up to date with the latest Mac tutorials. So the first thing that we need to do is to go to the top right hand side and then type in disk utility. And using Disk Utility, we're going to go ahead and create a partition. So we have our macOS partition here, which is macOS Ventura. And basically what we want to do is to create another partition similar to this so that we can install another operating system on it. So basically what we're going to do is to select our Macintosh HD. So if you can't see this, you can show only volumes. And what you can do is just basically select the root Macintosh HD. And then what you can do is then go to the partition section. And then what we're going to do is to add a new partition here. So you can see I have a one terabyte drive and we have the macOS partition here. So the kind of crosshatch part is the data that I'm already using. However, what I can do is press the plus button. And then it says here, do you want to add a volume to your APFS container? Or do you want to divide the container into separate partitions? So normally what I'll say is that you would want to actually add a volume rather than a traditional partition. Because if you add a volume, it basically means that you can share some of the free space between the two operating systems. If you add a partition, then it basically means that the space is not going to be shared. So if you get full on one partition and then you want to reallocate, it becomes much more painful to do that. So what we're going to do is add a volume. And what we're going to call this volume is the test partition. So I'm going to press test, press add. And basically what APFS does is that it adds this new test partition. So if we look at the partition table here, we basically have Macintosh HD and test occupying the space here. And then we have this space here, which is the free space. So I can go to finder now, and then I can go to test. And this is basically empty. If I control click and look at this, it's basically an empty partition. So it's used almost one megabyte of space. However, it has 350 gigabytes available to it. And this is also the same as Macintosh HD. They both have the same amount of space available to it. So this is the best way to do it. Of course, you can partition it as well if you prefer to. However, I'm going to be doing the volume method today. So the next thing we're going to do is to install the operating system onto it. So I'm actually going to be installing the standard macOS operating system. If you want to install different versions of the operating system, you can do so. Today, I'm going to show you the recovery method way of doing it. So what we're going to do is go to the Apple logo here and then shut down the computer. So we're going to shut down the computer now. And basically, when the computer is fully shut down on any Apple Silicon Mac, we can just hold down the power button to go into the recovery menu. So just have this held down. I want to wait for the right words to come up on screen. So it says here, continue holding for startup options. Now it says loading startup options. You can let go of the power button. And now we have the option here to either load into Macintosh HD or we're going to go to options here and we're going to load up the recovery operating system. So here I'm going to log into my administrator account. And now what I'm going to do is to select the option here, reinstall macOS Ventura, press continue, and then continue here. So now it's asking us to accept the licensing agreement, press agree, and then agree again. And now this is the crucial part, it's asking us which partition we're going to install macOS Ventura onto. So I've got my original partition here, Macintosh HD. I've got the test partition here. You can notice that they both have the same amount of space available. That's because they are volumes rather than traditional partitions. And here we're going to be installing onto the test partition. So I'm going to press the continue button here. And then I'm going to select my main user as the actual owner, press install, and then press continue. So I'm going to enter my administrator password, press OK, type that in again and press continue. And now it says here, macOS Ventura is going to be installed onto the test volume. So just wait for this to complete. It might take a little bit of time to download the operating system and then to install it onto the volume. So now the computer has installed macOS Ventura and we're actually able to log in. And so what I'm going to do is just set up the computer normally. And this is as if we're using the computer for the first time. So we've even got things like Migration Assistant. 
and iCloud setup. So I'm going to set this up later. I'm just going to show you how we get into the main menu. Here I'm just going to create a new user and then I'm just going to go through the standard setup process. Press continue. So now we've logged into the main screen of the computer. If I go to Finder, I can go to Macintosh HD and that's what the local hard drive looks like. If I go to Disk Utility, we can see that we're logged into this test volume and we can see the original Macintosh HD volume here. So if I open up Finder, what I can do is that I can see that if I go to the Documents folder, then we're on this test volume. So if I control click and click Get Info, then we can see the test information here. We've got 317 gigabytes free, but we also have the location as well. So the original Macintosh HD is here, and then we also have 317 gigabytes free. And if I go to Disk Utility, I can just confirm this. So we have the test volume and the Macintosh HD volume. So in order to switch between the two volumes again, what you can do is go to System Settings, then we'll go to General and then Startup Disk. And this is the point at which you can choose which startup disk you want to use. So let's say we want to go back to the Macintosh HD. Just going to unlock the startup disk. And now the original Macintosh HD is going to be the one that I'm going to log into. So if I press restart now, then the wallpaper and everything is going to be slightly different. This is just restarting. And now I can log into my original user. And now we're in the original computer that we had at the very beginning of this video. So I'm just going to show you the alternate way of going into the other partition. So I'm going to press shut down here. And once the Mac is completely shut down, I'm going to hold down the power button and go back into the recovery menu. Continue holding for startup options. Loading setup options, so let go. Then we have the two options here. We can either go to Macintosh HD or test the volume we just created. I'm gonna go back to test. Now the whole thing's restarting. So now I'm gonna log in. So now we've successfully installed two different operating systems onto the same hard drive using the partition stroke volume method. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.